We are here today at Wilderness Lodge inside of Territory Lounge. And now there's this little known fact about this area that if you look just at the painting right behind me, you're gonna see a brand new Disney snack attack. That's right. We are here in Territory Lounge to try some drinks, to try some shareable appetizers, and who knows what else will happen here. But this Disney Snack Attack is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel, experts at helping you plan your next Disney Snack Attack. When you book with them, it costs you nothing extra on your trip, and you help support the channel and all the content that we produce, so check them out, dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. And thank you to all of our Patreons who make us, uh, give us the ability to make ridiculous videos like this. You wanna learn more about that? You can head over to patreon.com slash disunlimited. Now I have said it and I have shaken my body enough and I'm ready because uh, Territory Lounge here opens daily from 4 to 10 p.m. at Wilderness Lodge, like I said. Um, when you get in here, oh geez Louise, I had to stretch. They get a little booklet. There's two pages, featured cocktails, shareable bites. We're doing two shared bites and we got some cocktails. You know what? There's no, no reason to beat around this bush. Guess what? Boom, cocktail's been made. I went with the S'mores Old Fashioned, and I put that glass down so hard I was worried it was gonna break. S'mores Old Fashioned, Elijah Craig 12-year Kentucky Straight Bourbon, Toasted Marshmallows, Chocolat Bitters, 1750. I haven't sipped yet, so you're gonna watch me sip it. I'm gonna swirl around. Look at these cute little toasted marshmallows in here. I love it. Oh, look at what's coming right now. Bacon, the sweetest of treats. Well, we got our bacon, we got our flatbread. I just sat on the corner of this chair. It's gonna be a great night. Uh, Hannah got her drink and didn't oh, get a sure chance did. to talk about that. But here's the thing, ladies first. So I'm gonna go first and say, I didn't get to finish my thoughts on my s'mores old fashioned. And it is such a good old fashioned. It was, what did I say was made with Elijah Craig, right? Mm -hmm. Which I really enjoy, because I feel like Elijah Craig has a lot of those sort of um, like cocoa, like graham crackery flavors to it anyways. So mm -hmm. mm. it's good. It's nice. It's just like just the right amount of sweet, but you can still taste the bourbon nice and clearly. I like it. This is a winner. Hannah, Back what'd to you me. get? So I decided, you know, I'm the martini mom, but actually maybe I'm the gin an grand millennial. It sure is. Th let me tell you what, this looks prettier than anything at my house, in my garden, in my yard. It's beautiful. Just look at this thing. I want to walk around with it, like hold it up high, like I'm on vacation. So I am having the LNC g and &T. It's made with Forge Gin. Forge Gin is having a moment here, Walt Disney World. Apparently. I, I do, I feel like for, it's Forge Gin everywhere, which I'm not Henry mad about. Henry Ford, I don't even know if that's who it's from. I don't think it is, but may, I don't I don't Agreed know who this Ford man is. We'll, we'll check this out later for you. Um, I, Aviation is my favorite gin, but I digress. Um, it is also made with St. Germain elderflower liqueur and more elderflower tonic. So I think it's, it's refreshing. It's perfect for springtime. It's beautiful. It comes in this big goblet. Yeah. And it pairs beautifully with our baked potato pizza, which is quite possibly one Can of the best. Can you taste the gin in it? Uh, let, let's, you know, there's only yeah. one for, for research. Here we for go. research, uh, yeah. For, for posterity. You can. You can taste the gin. Okay. It's nice. It's got that. I mean, it's a little hard to tell with the elderflower because it has that kind of botanical, kind of flowery. But no, you can. It's it's very nice. And you know, here's an accessory. Do, I, I don't yeah. know. This kind of does this complement you or me? I don't know. It looks like something out of Star Wars. Oh, okay. Well, then oh, maybe I'll take it. Gonna, yeah. Yeah, I think. Just put it like. Oh no! Oh okay. no! Put it in do a little behind. There you go. Oh, you were doing a little George Banks. Yeah. There yeah. you go. <laughs> Um, well, we also got some food, as you may or may not have uh, remembered mm -hmm. from when I came up behind the bacon. Give me this. Give me this. Uh, but I want to talk about the thing that we ate because Craig pie. ran out to the car. And that was a loaded baked potato flatbread, mm -hmm. which has bacon, potato, cream cheese, chives. That is $17. Honey. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it cream cheese? Cream cheese. Uh, or sour cream. No, cream cheese, baby. Ooh, no wonder I love it so much. And um, this thing this is tastes delectable. Like a baked potato. You even said while we were eating it, you were like, make soup. They should make soup. They should bring us baked potatoes. I think it's phenomenal. It has yeah. peas in it. So give peas yeah. a chance. It's the curveball. It was a curveball. I'm not mad about it though. This is I think amazing. it adds a nice texture to it, honestly. Yeah. The peas sure. give a little extra like thing to it. The potatoes yeah. are really well cooked on here. You I, know what? I love it. I do too. Have I you had the mellow mushroom 
uh, pizza before? The big, the, the okay. So actually, I have. Where is Mellow Mushroom? I feel like they closed all of them. There's one near Sea World. Oh, yeah. Oh, the more you know. You know what I love about this pizza is look at the cheese going right up to the crust. Look at it. You I'm know? terrified she's going to drop it, and this will be the saddest Disney snack attack. Will we've I ever eat it off the floor? Yes. Yeah, I, I would just. Yeah, it. just yeah. All right, there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, Can we eat this bacon now? Yes. Um, so we also got bacon on the wire, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. includes three slices of candied bacon. Oh, we have to feed the. Uh, the oh yeah, he's, yeah, he hungry. Off camera, he, <laughs> he hungry. hungry. Um, bacon on the wire includes three pieces of candied bacon with three deviled eggs. Wait, can we and talk about this bacon? A little bourbon drizzle. They said that they they make this and they make the bacon here at the Winter's Lodge. They kill the bigs. I maybe you know. Okay, so. here's the thing, the deviled eggs each have different things on them. One's got a shrimp, mm -hmm. one's got shrimp. a piece of like jerky, one's got a salmon. What does everyone want? A salmon. I don't know. You decide. Well, I don't want this the shrimp. This is your pick. I don't want the shrimp. Okay. But I will take the salmon. I'll take the salmon. You know what? Okay. I'm going to do the salmon. Craig, which one do you want? Let me do the shrimp. He's we'll gonna, do Craig's right. doing the shrimp. Okay, and I'm going to do this one's right. jerky. Nice. Should we just like cheers? Yeah, Should we do absolutely. a little deviled egg cheers? You're welcome. Here's to you. Here we go. Here's, Here's to, to you, deviled egg. Oh. Not my favorite deviled eggs on property, but not bad. It's hard when you've got Art Smith's homecoming. Mm, I know. And you're like me, and just deviled eggs are a thing in our house, so all you need is to expand it. It's just saying. Um, yeah, I, I thought, okay, the jerky really helped. I thought that was good. Um, but the egg itself, it was just all right, but I still like it. This is a thick piece of bacon. Is it thick yeah, with two it's pretty C's? Thick. Okay. Thick two C's. Did you put it in the sauce? No. In the sauce? Go ahead, you dip okay, it. Okay, all right, all right. It's pretty and sweet I dip, without we it. Dip, we dip. I all think right. they said there was a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear it. I already said bourbon drizzle. Mmm. Made with what? Made with what? Bourbon. What kind of bourbon? Made with Buffalo Trace bourbon. Thanks everyone for the pop quiz. Oh, look at this. It's just like, mmm, look at that, look at that droop. Eat it, lady. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Mm. I like I, that a lot. I think that, uh, that's really good. I think it's right in that middle of the texture where like, I'm somebody who likes really crispy bacon. I think that but, Craig is somebody who likes really chewy bacon. But it's that thick cut. It's good. Yeah, it's right in the middle. Mm -hmm. oh, it's good. Pretty solid. I feel like that's perfect candy bacon. It has a little heat to it. It's got that candy, like caramelized, you know. I think that's why it's making it a little bit crispier. It's because it's kind of caramelized from the sugar. It was good. I don't know. Let me try it without it. You know, this is another dream job I have at Disney. They have a little smokehouse here at the Wilderness Lodge. It's real cute. You can like see it from some of the rooms. And it's like, literally, it's just a giant smokehouse for everything. Probably this bacon came from there. Probably everything from uh, Whispering Canyon. I just want to sit in there and, you know, Grill bacon all day. Hang out with the meat. I, I said what I said. <laughs> Being the fanciest person in this entire lounge, I had to oh, order rude. a fancy drink that felt timeless. And that's exactly what I did. I got the Timeless Elias. It's the McCollin 12 year whiskey, Cavassier, cognac, and house made vanilla syrup for $18.50. And this was a smoked drink, so it came to the table with the smoke under cover of a coaster, and then, you know, the coaster was released, and the, the smoke was off. able to uh, just really, really savor its way around the room. And it's still holding that smoky flavor. Unfortunately, I had to run out to my car to grab an extra microphone, so my ice cube melted a little bit more than I would like to, but we have to point out, uh, they do use the full cubes. Yes. So for old fashioned people, for for enthusiasts of uh, finer crafted drinks, you want the big cube. If they serve you a bunch of ice cubes with it, just walk away from there. Unless you're real thirsty. Unless you're very thirsty. I'll tell you what. Um, I mean, this is obviously sweet. I don't think it's only because of the vanilla sil simple syrup, but that plays into it a lot, but also the cognac in there. Uh, McCollin isn't my favorite scotch, but uh, I also don't mind it either. It's just not, it's not my go-to. Uh, this is a really good drink though. I, I didn't have any of Rhino's yeah, old it. fashioned with the s'mores. Try it. Because that's what I probably would have ordered first, but I'm actually more of a scotch guy than a, a bourbon guy. Scotchy scotch. Yours is good. I like mine better oh. though. 
And speaking of what I like better, I also... What's that? Because you What's are the fanciest that? person here? I am the fanciest person yeah. here. Uh, tra -la -la. Where's your top hat? Tra-la-la-la. -la -la. I look, we're... It's in, indoors. I'm not, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not wearing hats inside anymore. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Uh, what I also liked better, I did like the flatbread better than the bacon. Nothing against the bacon. I thought the bacon was actually pretty decent. Uh, I like it better on its own than with the uh, reduction. Uh, and then the deviled egg, you know, it, it's just simple. There's nothing wrong with deviled eggs, but it's, it, it is what it is. But that flatbread, yeah, that so is go out of your way to come and get this flatbread. I am so happy we stopped here at Territory Lounge for this Disney snack attack. Snack attack. We're done with Territory Lounge, but we enjoyed it so much, we kind of want to go back to Territory I Lounge. I so. back. I think this was a very successful Disney snack attack. It sure was, I know. I don't even feel attacked by it. Just I, snacks. Yeah, just snacks. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Sorry, I regret <laughs> doing that. Uh, Too late now. I would recommend this uh, very much. I think we already mm -hmm. said potato flatbread, worth going mm -hmm. out of your way for. Amazing, cheesy delicious. And there, delicious there was list. other stuff that we wanted to try in the menu still too. Mm -hmm. The salmon flatbread. Yeah, she mentioned uh, they had charcuterie. Charcuterie. <laughs> I should have. I should have. You sound that. like my mother. I know, That's but what they she did. She it. said uh, that it was delicious, and it was a really big. She said it was huge. A big so, charcuterie board. She and did. And then there was she like was just really like good. vegan mac and cheese in there. There was plenty to try. There was plenty mm -hmm. more drinks to try too. Although I know. it would be hard for me not to get that s'mores old fashioned. It is a little bit on the pricey side for being seventeen, but I feel like. You know what? It's a decently made um, old fashioned and on Disney property right now. Actually, that feels pretty in line with the pricing. Absolutely. So I know. We, we recommend Territory Lounge for your next Disney, Disney snack, snack attack. attack. Uh, don't forget about Dreams Unlimited Travel when booking your next Disney snack attack. Mm -hmm. uh, and thank you to our Patreon supporters for putting up with us. Thank we really you. appreciate you and your continued support. And your patience yes. and your kindness and your goodness. And your patronage. I've said all the words in different ways. <laughs> uh, that is going to do it for this episode of Disney Snack Attack. If you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave comments where you would like to see mm -hmm. us go next. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's it. Bye. Yummy, yummy.